Hello. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it. I've been different since the entrance. Hey, right, what's up with y'all? So we are heading to John Tien right now to the seafood market because Lucky want to eat some squid that's still alive. So we're going to go over there and see what we can find. I've really been under the weather for the last few days. Like I think I caught the flu or something, but we're going to give you guys this vlog. What you want? All right, so here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Got the squid. Funny. See, we got the squid in there. Oh, uh, here you go. Because I make it too. Uh, yeah, a lot of food over here. Yeah. That looks sad. Yeah. Be okay. It tastes good. Tastes good? <laughs> mm. Yeah, he's trying to fight for his life. He want to stay alive, you know? Baby, stop talking. Make me sad. Mmm. 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 Smoothie. Let's see? Good buy tea for you. Really good. Like these, like, uh, like waffle. These things are really good. About to get a smoothie. Get. What else you eating? I gonna pick salmon. Salmon? Get the corn. The corn is delicious. All right, so we're about to sit on the beach, eat some of this food. This is one of the major benefits of living by the beach, being able to just sit out on the beach sometimes, eat your food, and just chill. Look at the water, man. I like living by the beach. And I always say, oh, that's why I'm always going to islands and all that, because I like getting in the water, I like being by the water. So, yeah, this is definitely a major plus to living in a beach city. You may or may not know, but 7-Eleven is very popular in Thailand. This is where you go get your snacks, get your food. You can even get food here, all types of stuff. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go inside 7-Eleven and I'm going to let Lucky pick some snacks out for me to try some Thai snacks. They have all types of different stuff in the 7-Eleven. No, uh, this one thing, you pick some snacks from you and I pick some my snacks. You eat mine, I eat yours. You eat, okay. We're gonna see. I'm gonna pick some. <laughs> What's these, like goldfish? What's this? Cherry with chili salt. Okay, we're gonna try that one. Um, I'm trying to get some crazy stuff. Marshmallow, field, strawberry, Danish. So what you gonna get? You pick something. They have chips too and all that other stuff over there too. Mm. 
Ah, I've been seeing these. It's like, it's like seaweed. Not seaweed. <laughs> seaweed. It look like seaweed. True. They have the chip section, so they have a lot of different styles of chips in here. See this right here? The queen, you want the queen? Squid flavor chip. Oh, we got the squid flavor chips. Yeah, we take the squid flavor lays. What's these? Noodle flavor, bolt noodle flavor. Let me try some of these too. You're not ready for this. I'm not ready for that. Flavors they got. All those wild, like, yeah, chip flavors they got over here. This is the male like. What's that? Oh, spicy barbecue. Hot chili. That's real? Okay, okay. Now Lucky gonna get her, her lunch for the day. So if you see like 7-Eleven, they have like all these meals over here. See all these different meals they got? These are all like microwavable meals you can get. Stir fry, chicken, rice. It's all types of meals, all types of meals. Lucky like getting hot dogs. I'm not a hot dog fan. Panang guy. Yo, they got panang? Yeah. Oh, see, this is my, yeah, this is my favorite. All right, so here we have cherry with chili salt. And we have the squid flavor lays. We have the bolt noodle flavor. We got the hot chili. Doritos. I think these are like, I see some peppers, and I'm, I don't know what to think, because I'm not really big on the real spicy stuff, but it's like some seaweed, I, I think. That's what I call it. But Then we have the marshmallow filled strawberry flavor Danish. Now, this looks like diabetes, so we're going to try this out. We're going to see. I'm going to taste a little bit of each. First up, we have the hot chili Doritos. We're going to see how these taste is going to be. I mean, pretty good, pretty good. Not as spicy as I thought, but pretty spicy. Next up, we got these, like, has some chili on here. Not really sure what this is. What is this called? Um, how can I like, um, salai. Okay. Well, look like seaweed to me, but... Let's give it a try. See, it's like a little. It's off. It's off. <laughs> mm. I mean, this doesn't really have a taste to it. No real taste. Definitely didn't feel any like heat, so. I don't know. I get this a two. Cause oh. it, it doesn't, I mean, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't taste any flavor in this, so I'm gonna give it a two. It says season, but I don't know how much season they use. Food, grilled seafood with spicy sauce lays. Why everything spicy? Why everything pick up spicy? The smell, smell like, kind of smell like coffee. Smell like coffee. It got like a coffee flavor to it. Oh! I 
No, sir. We got another two out of ten right here. The squid. Ain't as bad as I, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but yeah, I'm good. I'll pass on these. So next up, we got that could be nasty. this. So we got the cherry. We got the cherry. We got cherry with the chili salt. So I'm trying to stop. The smell. Ah. So good, right? I don't know about the smell right here. From the smell of it, it don't look like don't look like it's gonna be too good. It's but it's all yes. Well, it got seeds in it. Well, that's kind of throwing it off. But it's not that bad. I get it's like a 7 out of 10 for the, for the cherries with the chili salt. Next we got the boat noodle flavor lays. The smell. Like my soup. Good. Not really. I don't know about the smell, but. But these are good. This is good right here. Oh, my noodle. These are good. I like these. The boat noodle flavor lays. I like these ones. Nine out of ten for the boat noodle flavor lays. That snack. So this one right here, I got this one just because it looked, it looked like a lot. It's like marshmallow filled, strawberry damn. It's just extra, something just extra sweet. It honestly doesn't even really look that good, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's see. It smells really good. The strawberry, the chocolate, and see the, see what it tastes like. This is about, I'll get this like a 6 out of 10. Probably have to eat the whole it's thing, not, but it came out, yeah. I'm not trying to eat all this chocolate and stuff in here. Yeah, so about a 6 out of 10, I'll give this. Is this what you want me to eat? It's called Nam. 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 Mm. Mm. I don't know about this one. Nam. We call Nam. What is it, though? Yeah, my pork. Pork. Mm mm. Mm mm. That ain't it, balls. Mm. Ugh. I'm still chewing it. it. Tastes like like pickles. Something like mm. I'm good on that. Mm -mm. And I only ate a little tiny piece. I didn't even take a big bite of that. Nah. I'm pass on that one. It's all good though. We're gonna get lucky some uh some uh some foreigner food. Right, see how she like it. Mm, we'll get her some macaroni and cheese. Uh, we'll get her no. some mac and cheese, some collard greens. No. All right, so we are at Beef Eater, which is one of the best steak houses in Pattaya. It is near Soy Bacal, really good food, really good prices, not too bad for a steak, of course. So you should definitely come check this out and show you guys the food. Lucky is real sophisticated today. Look at her. This bitch good. Yeah, you say what? This bitch from good health for sale. Ah, okay. Yo. So 
She's wearing her good girl clothes today. Also, check out Patrick's as well. That's a really good spot over there. It's right across from Beef Eater. Like if I'm eating like a cheeseburger, some hot wings, she always got something to say. But like, but I can't say nothing about it. If you eat my food, you're gonna be sick. Yeah. But you. I know it on my stomach. But you can bite the head off a squid, right? As you see, we have the uh, mashed potatoes. She got the 150 gram with the mashed potatoes. And we got the Bernie sauce right there. That sauce is really good. So I'm gonna let y'all know how this tastes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's heavy. Famous love. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most. So As you can see. I love this. You love this? So these empty plates should basically <laughs> explain explain how how it tasted. It was really good. It was really good. You like yours? Yeah, look like Kochan. Mm, yeah, the steak was good in Kochan. All right, so we are now at the Golden Tiger Bar. This is the place you want to come for all your hip hop music and all that. And he also still has rooms available, just like he had in Maju. Love. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul I'm the most selfish person that I know Here we go down the rabbit hole Got a couple carrots around my neck Self-respect, when you out of line You put yourself in check Hello This brother was my first ever consultation right here And He was only like my 20th <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, you got experience, but man, welcome all the way from China. Get your consultation. Hey, for Get sure. Your consultation. For sure. How you enjoying yourself so far? I'm working for another brother's business. That's hey, right. and that's all we do is support chicken. out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got chicken, chicken wings. You know we always break That's that kicking chicken, chicken right there. Chicken I can chicken. I can smell it. Happy. Got the honey piece wing? That's a honey. Yeah, you better under order on this one. Hey, but you got the mac and cheese. You, got the, you know, you got the mac and cheese to help fill you out. Oh, you got the mac and cheese too? Yeah. Hey. Get it while it's hot, man. Hey man, y'all seen? I just had some steaks. I'm chilling. International Zoo, man. Barber World TV. Welcome back. I don't know if they know that you're here or not yet. You know, you probably in Cuba or something right now. <laughs> they about to find out for sure. Shout out to Dante, man. Congrats on your new spot, brother. Appreciate you, man. Yes. Go to the bar, man. We're doing it, man. Our first grand open. I greatly appreciate everybody that's coming out here. Uh -huh. You know, we got uh, Zoe Barber World out here, BMT out here. Yes, sir. Of course, you know, Travel Versity. Of course, you know, Chocolate Man in Thailand. Yes, sir. Shout out to the guys that couldn't make it. Uh, Zoom to Thailand. Man, Taylor made dreams of traveling right now. Appreciate you guys coming on out for our grand open. Yes, sir. Y'all definitely so come visit the new spot, man. Golden Tiger. There you go. Truth, or fall for any old scenario. That's why I keep my circle smaller than the cherry, yo. Cause this the company you kick. Stay woke, please don't get caught slick. End up, sewing what you rig. Know your worth, and don't sell cheap. Hi, everybody, it's our Golden Tiger Bar. Uh, we had to make some changes, um, but with all changes, a lot of things come out good. I really appreciate everybody came out. Um, the love and support is overwhelming. Um, sometimes you just don't know if you're actually going to get support or not, but I greatly appreciate you guys coming out. I thank you so much for all the YouTubers right now. I just bought shots for everybody, so we're going to have a good time. I know we can't do Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners like we used to, but I'm, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. I'll make some real ranges, and we'll make the best out of Golden Tiger Park. I greatly appreciate you guys. Come on, man. <laughs> Hey man, shout out to Austin, bro. I fall for any old scenario. That's why I keep my circle smaller than the cherry, yo. Cause this the company you kick. Stay woke, please don't get caught slick. End up, sewing what you rig. Know your worth, and don't sell cheap. The ghost is inside of me, can't take it out of me. No matter where I've been, it's about where I'm meant to be. I be shining purple. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance.